Hi everybody, so it's been a couple of weeks since I have done a what did I get video because last week I had holiday. So I don't actually have too much, I've got a nice amount but not, I haven't, I don't think, well yeah, I don't think I've got that much stuff. Um, I have got other things to share which I um, got given by the lovely guys at Trimcraft after I visited there but I can't share that with you yet so in due course I will share those with you but let's get into it so I popped to the works and grabbed this one the floral one that I made for that really large bucket bag which you've all loved and you're still sharing that over on mixed up crafters um, this one I saw in store and I just thought the, the prints were beautiful so it's three pound from the works and I'll just give you a quick flick through here so the thing I like about this is you get the, the real nice kind of um, plain side so they really can't they they complement each other very well so there's the stripes and then on the other side look at that get that gorgeous um, yeah is it right well, maybe no it's peony I think that one is but then that matches really lovely with this plain it's like a cloud effect or like a watercolor wash I can't quite work it out but it's it is nice it's probably just looking quite plain there but there, there isn't a, a kind of a, a design to it and then here you've got this it almost looks like it's been painted and then sanded so you've got like these high, these white highlighted areas and then this beautiful print so again they work really well because years ago when the works did do paper packs they would just whack any old design any kind of colors really and some of them didn't match and if you were doing something and it would show both sides of the paper it used to just look not good but they've really come up now with their paper packs so this one here so you've got that design so you've got that or that one you got this one with the plane. I would say it would have been nice if they'd done that with the plane on the back, um, but otherwise it's still really nice. So you've got those two that match. You've got that one there on that side. And then you've got this one, which has got the butterflies in it and then the stripes on the back. So if I flip that that way, that works really nice together. Flowers and stripes, flowers and polka dots, stripes and polka dots all work really well. This one I love, which is like a marble, texture really really nice that one and then look at that on that side that is gorgeous look at those two together really really nice like a dusky pink color you've got the lavender color there and I like that it's on that white background really pretty and then you've got this one which again is looks like it's kind of got a sandpaper look to it they go really nice together and then that goes well there this is actually one of my favorite prints this one it's like gray pinks and peachy colors love it and then it's against this one here which is almost like a hessian or burlap it's got a kind of weave but large weave or woven look to it um i think they look really nice together so there's going to be some gift bags coming guys a few of you have been asking i am due to do another couple of good nice unusual gift bags so there will be some coming this is nice with the birds again works really well with that one there and obviously you've got this plain background with that one and then you've got this one here, which again can work with that background or with this one here. Really nice, that one. Um, then this is, see that's two planes there. So I would have put that other printed one where I said they got two prints together. Which one was it? They could have afforded really to have done that. Yeah, this one here, where it's got the two prints. One of those prints should have been with one of these on the other side. So that's my only negative. And then we've got that one. This one here has got, it's kind of a pattern, but it's like watercolor. That's really lovely. With the greens there and like little yellow bits to the flowers, much smaller. So these are what I would say, yeah, a kind of, this is halfway now. So you actually get, I didn't even say, did, did I? You get 24 sheets, two times 24 designs, 230 GSM acid free. So that's the center point now. So you've got those two there. So you've got two of each design and then it goes back through again exactly the same as what I've shown you so perfect for gift bags when you need two one at the front and one at the back and for gift boxes and things like that but for three pound I just thought those designs were absolutely beautiful so this one is just called flowers blooming okay so that's that one so one of the things I got given when I visited trim craft which was a great day um, those of you that follow me on Facebook or on Instagram I did share a few things on there from behind the scenes but they um, gave me this just a small selection of their dot and dab which is all of the adhesives that they do um, now these one this one here 
um, I like the look at because it's acid free, strong, all purpose and it's photo safe. So this is going to be great for when I'm doing my scrapbooks. What it is like. Oh yes, yeah, so it's completely clear. So it is a glue stick. You can see it coming out there, completely clear. So yeah, transparent glue stick, ultimate transparent glue stick. So I'm really, yeah, looking forward to trying those out. So I've got those two. Then I've got a permanent glue runner here, 10 meters. These are always great, um, especially for speed. So this is the eight millimeter double-sided, again, acid-free, and that's your tape runner. So it's that one, put that in the bin. Then I've got this very, very thick. So you get two and a half meters, but it's four millimeter thick. There you have it, look how thick that is. Really, really good, that one. So that's definitely gonna get used with shaker cards. Um, then this one is a favorite. Okay, so this is it now, I've just taken it out of the packaging. I said to Claire that I'd never seen this before, and this is silicon foam tape. And basically it's transparent. If I pop it on its side, it's completely clear. So that's gonna look great again with shaker cards or just anything that you're adding you want to add some dimension and you don't want it to be seen because sometimes when you use for example this you see all that white or you can color it in and there's black ones out there as well i mean these ones here you know what i mean so this one here is completely transparent so there there it is on the side and i just thought that was really really good so again i could be really slow with this and there's actually loads but i hadn't seen this and it's really squidgy you see there um, and I just think that's great. So this one you get three meters, clear adhesive tape, double-sided. It is five millimeters thick, so it's actually, oh, is it thicker than that then? Oh no, sorry, two mils thick. <laughs> I was thinking then, why is that? Two mils thick, I read that wrong. Um, anything else that it says about it? No. So yeah, really good, like that one. But it does give you, comes in the plastic, but you also get this here, because if you do have any of the red runner tapes, um, they are very sticky on the sides, so I always do keep mine. Um, the ones I've purchased before from Every Crafts a Pound, they, um, not of this, this I've only seen through Trimcraft, um, is very sticky and they, I use um, like a grease proof paper in between each layer so they don't get stuck together. So that's just going to be fine now in my drawer, it's not going to get all gunked up and things. And then I just got some hook and loop, so you get 20 pieces there, just in the white. And then I got these here, which are great for when I'm doing the decoupage and things like that. And you get 400 pieces on each one, but these are black. So I have, yeah, three black ones. So again, really handy because I don't have any in black. Okay, so then they also sent me these. Now these are launching middle of May. So you've only got a couple of weeks to wait. So I just thought I'd give you a little um, kind of closer look at these um, and it, I've spoken to Trimcraft and they are happy for me to share them. So these are sticker packs um, by Dovecraft. You've got the butterflies, you've got tropical and you've got friendship. So you, in the butterflies you've got 124 pieces, tropical you've got 120 and friendship you've got 140 and they're really nice. So you know when I use my stickers I like to stick them onto a strong cardstock first and then cut them out so they become more of an embellishment so they're a bit easier I find to manage but these are still lovely if you like to do planning or for scrapbook layouts and things like that but they've a lot of them have got a, can you see, catching the lights, can you see all that lovely sparkle? So that's really nice, and they, I like the little sentiments. Don't let the don't let life flutter by. Let's fly away. Happy days. So you get one, two, yeah, two of each kind of you know um, spread. So there's that one, and then you've got this one. Beautiful life, it's so lovely. You get two of those, and then we've got high spirits and with love and free to fly. And I love butterflies, and that's that one there. So that's the butterflies one, which I thought was really nice, glitter stickered book. Then you get this one here, tropical, this is fun. So you've got Aloha, I love the bird there, tropical vibes. So again, you've got two of that one. Then you've got this one, escape, wild and free. Look at the two, um, what is it? Yeah, sloth. And they're hugging the heart there. I thought that was quite nice. And you've got the parrot and flamingos. It's really colorful. Um, one, oh, there's three of that one. Oh, there must be three of each design there. Maybe that one, the other one was stuck together. Let's have a little look, one. One, two, no, because there's two of that one. Oh, maybe I've got an extra, because everywhere is, is two. That's the next one, Paradise and Tropical Getaway. And again, they've all got that sparkle to them. And then this one here, one and two. Let me see in the middle of this one if there's three, because you've got two there, it's definitely two. One, two, definitely two of that one. Well, I think I missed that one. Believe in you, wonderful thoughts, spread your wings. 
two of that one and then two of that one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight pages in the books, but this one, I think I've got nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Look at that, I've got an extra sheet. So you never know, you might do two. I don't know if that's supposed to be, but anyway, so I've got that extra sheet. I need to count because it says 120 pieces, so I need to see if that's included or not. And then this one here, this is friendship. This one I really like. You've got BFF, best friend forever, uh, whatever, nope, good look, oh, look good, feel good, uh, selfie. And again, they've got that lovely gold uh, foiling on them. So you've got two pages there. This one here, like this with the, um, like the Scrabble uh, tiles there. Call me. Um, I used to have this. I don't know if anybody else did, but this was Forever Friends back in the very early 1990s. They'd done this necklace and I had one half and my friend had another. And it, when they're put together, it says best friends. I actually really like that. And I think I'm gonna use that on a scrapbook layout. If I can find a picture of when I wore that necklace, I think that'll look really nice. Dreamer, oh my God. You can see all that lovely foiling. So there's one, two. So there's only two of that one. So I think that one, you do get that extra. This one here, babe, sassy pants, girl gang, number one, too glam to give a damn, <laughs> pink fizz. I just think they're really fun. So two of that one. And then the last one here, yes, girl, good vibes, girls, slay, <laughs> girl power, best friends, fries before guys. I think that's really fun. I like that one there. And queen. And you get, again, there's two there. So yeah, there we have it. So 140, 120, but I'm going to check that because I think I've got an extra page and 124. Okay. And then lastly is stuff that I picked up from a charity shop because you know, I do like to have a little mooch. And this one particular one that I go in, I think slowly um somebody has been clearing out their craft room because every time we go in there new stuff's been added and i had a look and this was a bundle for three pounds so i had an elastic band around it and this is all full of really good quality almost 300 gsm cardstock it's very very um heavy cardstock but these ones here on top now i think these have come from a kit they have possibly come from maybe creating craft so if anybody recognizes this please let me know but I'm going to be using this just for, you know, um, my card making. Um, it's really nice. I'll probably cut it in half and then I've got the smaller polka dots and the larger. But you've got green. I've got two yellow, blue, tur I think I've got two of each. And this is thick. This is, I reckon this is about 270. Um, so there's the green there. So that matches. I've got that lovely orange. Then I've got like a orangey yellow. Then I've got this pinky colour, or reddish pink. Then I've got a pink again. Then I've got, I think I've got two of every one, almost. Well, then I've got a purple as well. And then it goes in. So that's all the polka dot. And again, I think it's picking up the sparkle. Should be able to see it there. Really nice, good quality cardstock. So I've got those, and then it went into these ones. Look at the shine on that. Beautiful. It is textured, it's quite rough glitter cardstock but again that's going to look great that will go nicely with my fairy tales collection so again i'll probably be using that then um so it's all part of the same one again if anybody has this i'd love to know if there was more to it but the cardstock is just really really nice so i've got lots of i'll probably go and cut this down so i've got all these a5 um glitters card stocks and then they'll be easier for me to store away for me to use so I've got a couple there so I can see where it's been used and then what's kind of been left and that's another purple one there and then that one there so again lots of lovely colors and then you've got these green striped ones look at them it's just so nice it really is lovely and like I said the quality is just great um, again pinks yes that's all I've got there just the pink and that lovely green. So that's all glitter, so I'm gonna sort that out. It does shed a bit, but again, I don't mind a bit of glitter. And then this is just thick cardstock, just all different, so I've got this lovely one here. But again, really nice quality. That's your card blank there, so that'd be nice. Um, I'm not gonna go through them all, because it is just, you can kind of see, got some thick brown, it's all different. There's pretty much one of every color. Look at that one, really nice. It reminds me of a um, top I've got, just like that. 
and there's the blue to go with it. Really nice. Um, so anything else? There's a lot of white. There's some hammered card stocks, different textured. These are really thick. That is really, really, really thick. It's lovely. Got some craft card in there. This one's thin, but it's nice. Look at that. If I bring it out, can you see that? It's almost like snakeskin texture to it. So that's lovely. Um, and then I think there's a few sheets of mulberry paper as well, which is nice. And then I've got these here, which is Kanban, which I, you know, it's not something I go out and buy. It's not usually my kind of style, but I thought these just as backgrounds are quite nice. So there's this one here. So this is Moments in Time it's come from on the um, branding strip, the background paper. Um, but I thought this one, I really like that one. I thought that's going to look lovely. So again, all from the same one, Moments in Time. You've got that one there. It's a little bit like a bokeh effect, which is nice. It's the blues. And then I've just got that plain background. Mm, not so sure about that one. It's not really my style. So, no, probably not that one. Love that one. Plain. And then you've got that one there, which I think is really nice. That one, not usually my style, but maybe it could work for like a Valentine's thing, possibly, or even a gift bag, a gift bag or gift box. And um, we've got that little one there, and then that clouds one. I thought it was quite nice for maybe a, a new baby card or something. So, yeah, I thought that was quite a good little find for three pound. All of that. I mean, that glitter stuff's just lovely. So I got that one. Then I picked up this more ribbon. These were always handy. This was forty pence. 10 yards, 9.14 metres. Um, and it's just thin, but it's perfect for hanging little dangles and things on and just doing little bows. And there's absolutely still tons on this. So yeah, that was a good little one, 40p. And then I got all of these and I found these at a market and this lady was selling vintage cards. Now some, yeah, they are more. Now that one I'm not going to share yet because this one has given me an idea for a fun fold card. So I'm not going to show you what's inside. You will see this in another tutorial, but that one is to come. So I'm not going to share that one today. But I just wanted, you know, again, if you've been following me, I've just got this thing for old vintage. And I mean very old. I mean like 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s kind of age. I love old cards and I just thought I'd share some of these with you so I picked these up from a lady and she was selling them for 50p each now all of these birthday ones were all from this they were an old lady donated them all and it was from her birthday so I haven't got number one I don't think we had it but right up until her 21st birthday so there's the 21st you've got her sixth birthday um oh that must have been from somebody else I think that was like aunt and uncle um, I'll show you the others you've got when she was eight, seven, that was another birthday, uh, 1951, I mean, oh, I just love them, absolutely love them, look at this, this is her second birthday, so it doesn't have a birthday on that one, and then that, when she was 21, because we were trying to work out how old they are, that's from Grandad, and just look, it's got this lovely pearlized paper, and you can see how they were made, so it was one great big piece just folded in half and then they'd obviously you know cut this out um key to the door congratulations on your birthday i just think that's beautiful and these are the things that inspire me you know when i'm doing my coloring or all kinds of things so this is happy birthday to you on your second birthday love that little peephole there and her name is iris and it says that in a lot of the cards with lots of love from auntie joy and uncle jack and they've done a lot of these cards um Auntie Joy and Uncle Jack. So there's that one there, that's two. Then when she was three, with lots of love from your Auntie Joy and Uncle Jack. And this one, I mean, again, it's just been cut. You can see there, and this is that. It reminds me of that 1980s toilet paper. That sounds awful because it's a beautiful card, but you know that really, it had a name and it was like, well, it would hurt. <laughs> but I remember in public toilets, it'd be this really thick, almost like tracing paper. It was horrible. But that's what that, <laughs> that's awful to say, but that's what that texture reminds me of. Anyway, there's that one. And then you've got, yeah, these ones here. Two iris with lots of love. This one's different. So this says, with lots of love and a big kiss from Cousin Barbara. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Number six, this is Love and Kisses from Uncle Ben and Auntie, Auntie, can't see what that is. If I hold that up, who is Auntie? Auntie Michelle? 
wouldn't have thought Michelle doesn't seem like a name that would have been used a lot back then. Anyway, Uncle Ben and Auntie someone, let me know in the comments, really cute. And then you've got eight, uh, uh, with best love from Uncle Bill. Yeah, Uncle Bill. So, hold on a minute, I'm just realising. Oh no, it's Uncle Jack. <laughs> I was getting all my me, me uncles and aunties mixed up there. Number seven, from Auntie Joy and Uncle Jack, wishing you, wishing Iris a very, very happy birthday. Beautiful. And then this one here, I like this one. It has this little envelope which you can open there and get a little peek inside the card. And this one says, from Auntie, again, it's that, I can't quite read it. It's probably, it will, you know, once you know it, it's, it's right there, but I just can't seem to make it out. And Uncle Ben, and that's the one that says 1951, but it doesn't have the age. And if it had the age on this one, we would be able to work out, um, you know, how old she was, because I'd be able to go back to number two and work out when she was born. Because, yeah, we don't know if that was given after her 21st, for example. It's might, this might have been given on her first birthday. So we, we just don't know because nothing else has got a date in it. Um, and this one says made in the USA. Um, made in England. So um, printed in Britain. So again, I just love to try and yeah, do a little bit of detective work with these things. So that was that. And then you've also got here. This is happy birthday to my wife. To my own darling is that with all my love and thanks for the years past from your own Jim yes isn't that lovely that's how he addressed her so to my own darling with all my love and thanks for the years past from your own Jim isn't that lovely oh I absolutely love these things and there you go. I can sit looking at these in like in you know on a market stall. This one I loved. This was just really fun. Happy reflections on your birthday. I mean, what a, you don't hear that anymore, do you? Um, I send a wish, sincere and true, with fondest birthday thoughts for you. And then you open it up, and this one actually opens. I remember now. You pop that in there. What a lovely idea. Look at that. And then it stands up. So there's one I might try and uh, redo as well because I think that's really sweet. And then on the back here, it would have had something else attached, but it says, from Jean and Harry, with love and best wishes on your birthday. So I don't know if that was to Iris as well. I'm not sure with these ones. And then this one here, many happy, many happy returns, dear daughter, with best wishes from dad. Oh, isn't that lovely? Wishing you every happiness. May this, may this birthday to the dearest of daughters sweeten life's pathway and calm winter's waters. Again, what lovely words. Again, just not really seen a lot in our modern cards. And then this one I thought was really unusual. Year round birthday wishes. And in here, this is a, an actual resin, like plastic even, centerpiece there for the flower, which I just thought was really unusual. So it opens up and this says love um oh gosh I can't see that again that's really something da and daughters I think that's Muriel maybe Lenny again if I hold that up there because I know some of you would be looking at this but who's that from is that Muriel that's definitely daughters I'm not sure about the other two there so again I'd love to know what you think um and then again this is an unusual one so it's in half like you can see it's just one big piece and then this piece has been stuck in separately just for the center part there so no date and that one's made in the USA so there's a little mix here and then I've got this as well again it's just more for inspiration I like to see how different colours can work together like the purples with that yellow and the green and this is just an old uh, it's from 1951 it's from a hotel and it's a Viking uh, hotel in Oslo Hotel Viking and it's basically just a brochure. So inside, you can see here, it tells you about the, the hotel. So it shows you there what it was like, because obviously that, you know, a, a very nice place to go in its heyday, right in the center of Oslo, two minutes from the main railway station, five minutes from the Keys and Airways terminal. I'm gonna have to have a look, see if it's still there. That'd be interesting. Welcome to the Hotel Viking. Yeah, so this was obviously a, a trip that was organized maybe, and this is what they obviously gave out to people, but. Yeah, just, just things that inspire me. 
I've loved doing this for many years and these are giving you an insight into what I also enjoy and then I picked up these they're not a vintage but are nice to use on nautical cards or even when I am sewing and things like that and these I thought are quite handy for scrapbooking you've got art family fun love sunset and sunrise and that's those there as well so there's everything that I have purchased over the last couple of weeks not too much it's mainly inspiration I guess just that one paper pack and then these were obviously given to me kindly by the guys at Trimcraft so yeah any links that I can share I should be able to do the works one for you all the dot and dab stuff I can these sticker books like I said not coming out just yet but once I start using them in my tutorials I will and let me know yeah what you think about the cards there I'd be uh, I always like looking at the comments so thanks guys I will be back tomorrow with another tutorial and yeah until then see you later bye